very good morning children today let's learn max in the first chapter last class we learned about numbers up to 200 number names and the numbers which comes after a given number before a given number so now open your textbook and take page number 3 in that page you have exercises that we have learned already you can do that exercise as homework turn to page number 4 and 5 that also you can do as your homework so today we are going to learn a new topic that is expanded form what is expanded form we can expand the numbers we can write numbers in terms of ones tens hundreds that is we are expanding the numbers here you can see the number 12 it is a two digit number how we are counting it will count two ones and one tens we write it as one tens and two ones one tens we write it as 10 plus 2 equal to 12 this is how we write in the expanded form second example 46 6 comes in the ones place 4 comes in the tens place so we can write it as 4 tens and 6 ones we count always from the right side that is from the ones place but when we write we write it from the left side so here 4 tens makes 40 plus 6 ones makes 6 and the number we get 46 58 here it is 8 ones 5 tens we write 5 tens and 8 ones 5 tens means 50 plus 8 ones that is 8 itself so we get 58 let's move on to a three digit number we know 124 is a three digit number so let's count ones tens hundred how can we write this 100 two tens and four ones so 100 becomes 100 because there is only 100 in that plus two tens is 20 plus four ones is 4 so the number becomes 124 this is the way how we write in an expanded form 112 in this we can see 2 comes in the ones place 1 in the tens place and this one in the hundreds place so we can write it as 100 1 10 and 2 ones that makes 100 plus 10 plus 2 equal to 100 12 let's see now 148 how many hundreds are there in 148 there is only this comes is the hundreds position so there is only 100 in that position 4 tens 8 ones we write it as 100 4 tens and 8 ones this 100 is written as 100 plus 4 tens is 40 plus 8 ones is 8 and we get the number 148 so this is how we write in the expanded form hope you understood the expanded form now let's move on to the place value what is a place value every digit in a number has a place value place value is the value of the digit so it changes according to the position of the digit for example the number 59 is a two digit number here there is nine ones and five tens so this nine comes in the nines position ones position this nine comes in the ones position 5 comes in the tens position so we can say 5 tens and 9 ones here number 68 is again a two digit number we can count 
ones, tens. So eight ones, six tens. What is the place value of six? It is comes in the tens position and six tens makes sixty. Next example, thirty-six. It is again a two-digit number. So how can we count it? From the right side. So which place? Ones, tens. Six comes the ones position, and three comes in the tens position. So what is the place value of six? Six comes in the ones position, and here three comes in the tens position. So this is the place value. Here, let's see the place value. The number twenty-five is again a two-digit number. Five comes under ones place. Two comes under tens place. So we write the place value of two is twenty. Place value of five is five. The place value of two is in the tens position. The position of two here is in the tens position. So we write as twenty. The place value of five comes in the ones position. So we write five. Next, forty-eight. Eight comes in the ones position, and four comes in the tens position. So place value of four is forty because there are four tens in that. Four tens makes forty, and eight ones makes eight. Let's move on to the three-digit number. The number is one hundred and twelve. Let's check the place value from the right side. Two comes in the ones position. One comes in the tens position, and this one comes in the hundreds position. The number one hundred and eighty. Again, zero. We'll start from the right side. That is zero, ones, eight, tens, one hundreds. Zero, ones, eight, tens, one hundreds. So this is how we check the place value of a digit. Now let's check the number one hundred and fifty-six. The number one hundred and fifty-six. The place value of one is in the Hundreds place, so we can say it as one hundred. Place value of five. Five comes in the tens position, so five tens makes fifty. Place value of six. It comes in the ones position. Place value of six is six. This is how we check the place value. Place value of one hundred and thirty-eight. Eight is in the ones position, three is in the tens position, one is in the hundreds position. So always we check from the right side. Ones, tens, hundreds. So the place value of one is hundred. That is one hundred. There is only one hundred in that place. So it is. One hundred. Place value of three. It comes in the tens place. Three tens make thirty. Place value of eight is eight. So the number is one hundred and thirty-eight. Now, let's find out the place value in the number one hundred and fourteen. We have to find out the place value of four. We can check ones, tens. Hundred. So four comes in the ones place. This one comes in the tens place, and this one comes in the hundreds place. So we have to find out the place value of four. So we can write it as four because it comes in the ones place. Next number one hundred and twenty-eight, and we have to find out the place value of two here. Here it is eight ones, two tens, one hundreds. 
So, we have to find out the place value of 2. It is 2 tenths. So, the number place value is 20. So, here the place value of 2 is 20. In this number, we have to find out the place value of 1 in 142. Ones, tens, hundreds. So, what is the place value in the, of 1 in 142? It is 100. So, hope you understood the place value, how to find out the place value of a given number. Next, we are moving to the face value. Face value of a digit is the number itself. For example, here the number 12, we have to find out the face value of 2. The face value of 2 is 2 itself. Here in the number 43, the face value of 4 is 4 itself, that is the number itself. Let us check next number 112, it is a 3 digit number. So, in this we have to find out the phase value of 1. What is it? It is 1 itself. So, the phase value is the digit itself. 186, the number 8 we have to find out the phase value. So, phase value of 8 is 8 itself. In the number 198, the phase value of 9 is 9 itself. So, hope you understood what all was taught today, the expanded form, place value and phase value. You can again open your text. We will move on to the exercises. Page number 8. Let us read the question. Write the expanded form of the following numbers. One has been done for you. The first one, 149. It is expanded. 100 plus 4 tens plus 9 ones equal to 100 plus 40 plus 9. Like this, you can do the rest of the exercises. Let us move on to the second question. Write the place value of each circled digit in the following numbers. One has been done for you. The first one, 196. We have to find out the place value. So, in this number, we have to find out the place value of 9. So, what is the place value of 9? 9 comes in the tens position, so it is 90. Let us do B, 183. We have to find out the place value of 8. 8 comes in the tens position, so it is 80. You can write down 80 in that box. Like that, you can do the rest of the exercises. Let us move on to the third question. Fill in the blanks. In that, let us read the A. In 194, the place value of 9 is. The phase value of 9 is. We have to find out the place value and the phase value in this question. So, we have to find out. In the number 194, first the place value, check the place value, it comes in the tens position. So, place value of 9 is 90 and the phase value remains the same that is 9. So, write in the first box the place value of 9 is 90, write down 90 there and in the next box the phase value of 9 is 9. The next box you can write 9. There are 4 more questions you can complete it. So, that is all for today. Hope you understood what was taught today. Thank you.